So, while you can let your imagination run free as you are now motivated to start upcycling, um, the following is a suggested project for students looking for a challenge. Here's the prep work. With the approval of parents or guardians, collect a few items from your recycling and set them aside. It can be anything, an empty water bottle, scrap paper, yogurt containers, whatever it is that you can find. Be sure to clean it and keep it somewhere safe and out of reach. Perhaps this is a time where you can part ways with old items that no longer serve you. Old, an old sock or a t-shirt? Remember, the more creative you get now, the better outcome of your final project. So here are some of the things I collected for my recycling jars, cardboard, all kinds of things. Um, I have so many more projects that I want to do and I'll make more videos for, but let's start with my first project. Getting started. Before beginning, prep your work area. Lay down a newspaper or something protective. Wear clothing that is okay to get dirty or stained. Step 1. On a piece of paper, make two separate lists. The first is a list of 10 adjectives. The second in the second column, make a list of 10 animals. So here are my adjectives. Here are my animals. Step two, carefully with scissors, cut each word into a separate piece of paper. Keep the 10 adjectives together, keep the 10 animals together. Find two hats or two cups or two somethings to put the scraps into. Keep the piles together. I use two bowls. Cover and shake the paper up. Open both. Draw an adjective. Draw an animal. And lay them down together on a table as a pair. Repeat step four until all the words are paired. So I got tiny kitten, round fish, yellow octopus, hairy bird, crazy butterfly, soft frog, silly chihuahua, mean bunny, fat turtle. Using the materials you collected, build an animal based on one of the word pairings you made. You can use glue, tape, scissors, string, whatever you have available, and your parents or guardians approve. I chose round fish. This is partially because of the materials I had. For example, I had this perfect piece of cardboard from a frozen pizza. So I decided to make a round fish. I wanted to keep it very flat and graphic. I used um, a four pack beer holder for um, the eye. I used cream cheese containers for the gills and uh, for the tail. I also highly recommend drawing out a sketch. I drew this sketch first to help me imagine the way I wanted my project to turn out. So there's that. I painted my um, material green. I made some scales but ultimately I didn't like them so I repainted it again to green. One thing that you have to remember as an artist is to go with the flow. You'll make, you'll try something, you'll make a mistake, you'll realize you don't like it. Find a way to keep the project going and move on. Make it into a beautiful mark. So there's the eye. There are my gills. I used um, uh, packing peanuts for lips. And here's the lid that I turned into a tail. I painted it green. I used the pizza box itself and cut it into pieces and made uh, the, the fins. I glued them on. And here I am making uh, the lips. I glued one, I cut one apart and glued it into pieces and glued it on. And I painted it and added decoration. And there was my round fish. I had so much fun doing it, and I hope you do too. Please share your work with us. We would love to see it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.